About 10 years ago, maybe a little longer, uh, I started uh, painting murals in collaboration with the uh, Sophia Katerra Arts and Cultural Center on, uh, in the Old South End. And uh, we, started, we started there with one mural. And for the last decade plus, we continue to paint multiple murals every year. The one that's nearest to us is on Adam Street, and it was one that I was asked to paint of someone else's artwork. Um, and then a lot of the other murals that I've done are just really large panel, uh, like wood panel uh, pieces that are paint by number style. So I will do maybe like a four by eight foot, eight, eight foot square um, like landscape of some sort in black and white, and then I number everything out and kind of facilitate the painting process for people in the community. It's really fun. <laughs> I think the murals um, are, I'm not, I don't know if they're more accessible, but I think people get really excited about them, and I think that's really great. I think, um, and I think it's also really great that um, a lot of the murals in Toledo, I would say with few exceptions, are all uh, kind of grassroots efforts, you know. Um, there's very few that have, you know, that are sponsored by corporations or have big money, you know. It's, it's folks that have gone out and raised a little bit of money or got some donations or whatever that may be and, um, you know, and just and made it work. So. Um, you know, I think people really relate to that. I, I feel like public art's in Toledo's blood. I feel like it is part of our, our marrow, our, um, it's in our soul. I really do. I think, you know, we are, are the, the city, city of Toledo's public art program is um, just over 40 years old. Our program predates any other program in the state, and most programs uh, the side of the Mississippi on the east side. Art in Toledo is very accessible because it's everywhere. There's bike racks that we've designed um, through the Arts Commission. There's murals. Um, there's really cool uh, mosaic tile murals um, here on Adams Street. It's neat to see all different kinds of artwork, all different kinds of materials ready, readily available for anyone who's walking or driving by to see. I think street art is magical. You know, it's like it, it, it has the ability to, to transform neighborhoods. Uh, my favorite story is, is when we were first uh, painting on the, uh, uh, under the 75 Broadway overpass in the Old South End, there was a young lady whose parents were taking her to school. She was 14 years old. And she looked, she saw an article or TV program. She got my name, she looked me up, she wrote me a letter. And in the letter it talked about how this was the first symbol that somebody cared about her neighborhood. It made her proud to be a Latina. It's neat to watch people connect with art and they feel more excited about art in the community knowing that they had a part in creating a piece of it. They initiate change. And so it's like, you know, mural art or public art is, is, is the role of that art to, to record what's going on in the community, to be react to that, or is it the one, is it the goal of art and community art and murals especially to be the catalyst to initiate change? And I think we, we, we could do both. Having lived here for 15 years, I could tell you literally like 100 reasons that you should come here. And I think the longer people live here, the more they realize how hard the city has worked to get where it is and how powerful community is here. Art has put this town on the map. Uh, but I think it's just, it's, it's part of our culture. It's just as important as any other institution um, in this city. I mean, I can't imagine, um, there's so many sites where you just, you couldn't imagine that work of art not being there and, and what that landscape would look like. Um, you know, I think it's, it's just, it's a part of our identity. Every, every community in Toledo could use some sort of public art. Uh, and, 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 and it could be specific to the community, uh, uh, 
Times have changed. This is not, this is not, uh, you know, the 19th century Europe where everything's made out of rock and stone and concrete. Uh, it's also a time where, where hopefully people are being empowered and, and they can get their messages up on the wall for others to see. Uh, we should just be really proud of, of what's, what our artists have been able to achieve. And then, you know, but then keep in mind the artists that are, are coming up um, and, you know, just kind of starting that journey and, and how do we, you know, keep um, supporting them and, and providing resources or, or just, you know, um, encouragement. To, to keep going and be that next generation of artists, but it's um, it's a pretty wonderful time in Toledo for the, for the art and culture you know scene. It's um, there's it's fantastic work going on right now. Yeah, there's a desire to to uh, uh, to improve the city, and and these, these murals do improve the city. One of the coolest things as an artist about living here in Toledo is. This is not a town that says no. It's a town that says, what if? What if we did this? What if we, you know, uh, create a mural on the sidewalk instead? Or, you know, anything's possible. And there is a whole network of people that wants your dream to be a reality. It's just a really special place that will constantly catch eyes because of the art. And then the people and that sense of community are what's gonna draw people to stay here. I think the art really um, brings people in, but it's um, the community that makes you want to stick around. <laughs>